Alrighty, alrighty. Good afternoon to you. I see Nicole has just tuned in. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. I'm hoping that you've had a fantastic week, and I'm also really, really hoping that um, you're well rested and you wanna, um, you're gonna have a great weekend. Okay, so I see Matthew has just tuned in. Paul has also just tuned in. Thank you so much, guys. So obviously today. As it is the last day of the week, the last day of the show this week, we are going to try and look at something that um, a lot of people take for granted. First of all, productivity, and second of all, procrastination. All right. So, in the comments below, I want you to tell me what you are most proud of this week so that we can all be excited about your progress, we can all be excited about where you're headed to, etc, etc. Okay, and while you're doing that, I'm going to just introduce myself. For those that know me, my name is Prosper Tarovinga, founder and CEO of Live Long Digital, your full-scale uh, digital marketing agency in Melbourne. I'm also the creator of the Online Prosperity Blueprint, your four-step system to having a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Right, so for the next 30 minutes, we're going to be talking about literally your productivity and how you can actually get more things done by being resourceful with as little um, uh, you know, resources that you might have at the moment. All right, so pretty much um, people that watch these videos always come back to me and tell me that, um, you know, they are beginning to earn a little bit more money um, with less struggle with what they're doing and they're getting recognition within their own industry. So if this is your first time, I want to welcome you and I want you to tell me at the end of this show what you actually think of um, our show and if you would come back again and watch on Monday. All right. So just going back to what people have mentioned, what they were doing this week, Nicole says she has been sharing new ideas to grow memberships. Memberships are a really good place to be. I'm also creating one in the back end where I'm going to be helping people to actually start scale and grow their own online businesses. So that's pretty good. Uh, Christopher is talking about conversions. Um, okay. So this week, are you have you been converting a lot of people that are coming through your pipeline or how has that all been happening? Let me know a little bit more about what you're talking about. Timothy, man, how's it going in Honolulu there? Uh, in Hawaii, sorry, not Honolulu. And um, Timothy says, I know I do. Thanks for all the value. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. All right, so I'm going to tell you something that's probably going to overwhelm you. Um, but also, I want you to put everything else in perspective. When I woke up this morning, I woke up at 6 a.m. All right, I'll give you perspective. This is now uh, 2 p.m. in Australia. So when I woke up, it was 6 a.m. And normally when I wake up, I'm... Um, um, you know, looking at my emails, looking at um, what has been happening on my socials while I was sleeping, etc., etc. But today I woke up and I had to go to the city, which is about 45 minutes away. So I went there and I did a quick video shoot for an upcoming video for RMIT. Um, it's very exciting. Those that are in Melbourne, you're going to be seeing it around, um, you know, everywhere, socials, um, uh, TV, etc., etc. I never look at those things, all right? I never see where it all goes. So I did that, and when I came back, I came and I set up my SEO, um, you know, thing on my website. I don't know if you've seen, I've posted about it, um, how you, you can now get a free website audit from my website, all for free. Um, and if you're going to want that, just go onto my website, www.livelongdigital.com.au. It's now all set up. After that, I made 23 calls to potential prospects, people that opened my emails and people that spoke to me, etc., etc. Of those 23, I booked 14 calls, okay? And I've written one blog post and I've had one strategy call with my business development partner. 
And I've also, okay, I've booked the 14 calls that I'm going to be speaking to in the next week. I've also recorded an episode on Zoom of the Online Prosperity Show. And now I'm doing the 30-minute uh, episode. I've also responded to three media requests that I'm going to be doing next week. And all this has been happening around my little girl. Um, she's two years old and everybody else that's got a toddler, you would know that you've got to be operating at another level to get all of these things done in one second. And we're not even halfway through the day yet. All right. So, you know, you know what I mean? Uh, some people might think this is just overzealous or this is just way too much or it's a little bit overwhelming. I want to show you exactly why I managed to do in one single day what takes a lot of people, ordinary people, a year to accomplish. All right. In one single day, I can do things that an ordinary person would take a year to accomplish. All right. And I can testify to that. You can see the things that I post. You can see how efficient I am at responding to people, how many people I speak to in a single day, how many books I read and how many, um, you know, how much time that I actually give to people that actually care about my work and stuff like that. All right. And also maintaining a positive mindset mindset and in the process looking after a young family with a young daughter. OK, so everybody else would want to be operating at, at such high level. Some people don't. That's fine. That's all up to you. But I know if you're going to be an entrepreneur that really wants to go somewhere, do something and be of value to either yourself, your family and those that really care about you, you would want to be operating at levels where people will be like, my God, how does that guy even do all those things? All right. Because if you're not operating at that level, my friend, you haven't started yet. All right. Yes, they say you must hustle, hustle, hustle. But if you actually do things the way the way that the, the greats do it, if you actually do things the way that, you know, accomplished people do it by actually segmenting your day and taking breaks in between and putting a lot of focus on one particular thing at a time, I promise you, you will definitely start winning and getting a whole lot more done. All right. These days, our um, concentration span has gone from like zero to like minus four. Nobody has patience for anything. Nobody even has patience to be on the toilet and sit enough until they actually finish doing their bodily functions. All right. I know that I, you can smell people when you're walking around. OK, so people have lost so much patience in as much as when they're not seeing results. You know, when they don't see the immediate results, they start thinking that whatever they're doing is not worthwhile. Whatever they're doing is not, um, you know, helping anybody. All right. So at the end of the day, I want you to shift your way of thinking right now to a simpler way of doing things. And I want you to concentrate on simply one thing. Ask yourself, what is the one thing that if you would not do, your business would perish, your life would not move. And when you figure out what that one thing is, everything else doesn't matter. All right. So it could be one thing at one particular time. Every time I'm talking to people or some other budding entrepreneurs, I ask them, so what is it that you do or what are you known for? Some people will be like, oh, yeah, I'm known for being a blogger. I'm known for being, uh, a, 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 you know, a speaker, an author. I'm known for that's too much and it's too vague. Your brain cannot comprehend all these things that you're trying to put across. You know, some people want to be an influencer. Some people want to be known as an expert. But what do you actually know and what do you actually do and who cares about that? All right. So I want to teach you today, not teach you or remind you because you already know this. All right. I want to remind you of a technique that I've just recently learned and it's called the Pomodoro technique. How many of you have heard about the Pomodoro technique? By a show of likes, let me know if you know what I'm about to talk about or if it's nothing that you've heard about, just say I haven't heard about it. OK, so I think it was run about the 1990s. I'll spare you the 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 history of it all because maybe sometimes it's not really important but with the pomodoro technique it states that you do you segment your day into 30 minute intervals 
All right. So in those 30 minute intervals, you now have 25 minutes of solid, fully undisturbed work. All right. For 25 minutes, no phone, no email, no kid, no anybody else is allowed to disturb you in 25 minutes. All right. And then after that, you give yourself a five minute break. All right. So you segment your day into 30 minute intervals. And in those 30 minute intervals, what you then do is you work solid 25 minutes and then you give yourself 25, I mean, five minutes of a break. So the Pomodoro technique is a way that you can actually manage not only your time, but the amount of concentration that you do during that time. All right, because if you're working fully for just 25 minutes, no disturbances, nothing, no phone call, no ping, ting, or whatever your phone does, and then you give yourself five minutes as a reward for having pulled in that work, that's how winning is done. All right, so this is why I can be able to, to tell you that I've written a blog, I've made 25 calls, I've, I've, I've put back 15 emails, I've booked all these calls so that I can speak to people in, in the next week. I've already guaranteed my income in the next week, so that means my business is surviving next week. It's because I have segmented my day into 30 minute intervals. You can never concentrate more than that amount of time. All right. So if you actually look at it and say, OK, for the next 25 minutes, I'm not going to touch anything. I'm not going to talk to anyone. I'm not going to answer any phone calls, no matter how important it is. And then you put out a blog, you put out content, you put out, you know, you read a, a chapter of a book, whatever it is that you need to work on at that particular time. 25 minutes is all you need at any given interval. And then after that, you can give yourself the five minutes, whatever you think the reward is for that particular time. So you could listen to music or you could, um, you know, share this video or you could, um, you know, look at your emails, whatever helps you to realize that this is the reward that I want. So your brain operates with the reward system. Okay, so this is pretty much how you can do it. You can grab a timer or your phone or there's also an app. On, on iPhone, it's called the 3030 app. All right. So this 3030 app, it lets you segment your day into 25 day, uh, 20, uh, you know, 30 minute intervals. All right. So these 30 minute intervals will then distinguish how, you know, you have two of those within an hour. So can you imagine a hyper focused hour where you're doing two separate things maybe it's writing a blog or maybe it's doing an interview or whatever it is that that brings money to your business you know and you concentrate on it without any disturbances for 25 solid minutes don't you think you will get a whole lot of things done now calculate within your day starting from maybe whatever time you wake up how many 30 minute intervals have you got that you are wasting and you're not even doing anything because every second minute you're like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll snack up every second minute. Oh, let me go and fix up a coffee. Oh, you know, let me try my karaoke or, you know, let me just ponder and, and find out what everybody else is doing online. OK, can you type in, um, in, 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 in the comments below if this is a technique that you're going to be using? So now this is how it works, okay? So you you set your clock to zero, all right? You especially on the 3030 uh, app, you set it to zero and then it starts counting or you set it as a timer so that it counts back from, from, from the 25 minutes, all right? Whenever the 25 minutes comes in, you, you maybe make a sound or whatever, and then you stand up from where you're sitting and you move around. That's when you can get a coffee or a snack or whatever it is. But you should, you will look that you will have been so productive and because we are now being faced with so many distractions, you know, every time your phone goes ping, every time your phone goes ding or whatever it is, it takes you away from your work. And can you imagine you now go into the rabbit hole of whatever you are commenting about or whatever you're watching on Facebook, etc., etc. Okay, so at the end of the day, you when you start repeating this 25 solid minutes of n not being disturbed or whatever, because anything that's on Facebook can wait. You are not missing out on anything. Any email can wait. Any phone call can wait. Do you know what I mean? Because we fill our day with 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 so much doing without coming up with any results. 
That's the reason why at the end of the day, you actually have nothing to report because there's nothing that you've been doing. You know why? Because every five minutes you were answering the phone or every five minutes you were looking at your Facebook or every five minutes you were, um, you know, responding to an email. How is this going to change the way you actually start working? Because every single hour has two 30 minute blocks. So if you actually look at what is it that do I need to do within this hour and then break it into two parts and then just concentrate with no disturbances for 25 minutes and then give yourself a five minute break. How much do you think this would change your, your, um, your, your, your productivity? You see, the purpose of, of, of this mental um, conditioning is because your brain is always looking for a distraction. Your brain is always looking for the easy thing to do. And I promise you, you will find things to do. You will find, you know, a window that needs to be cleaned. You will find, um, you know, music that you haven't heard. You will find a person that's in your newsfeed that has asked a really dumb question that you're going to Google and want to come back with a, with a smart ass answer. And look at the time that you've taken five minutes of your time that you could have used you doing productive work. You know, so the purpose of this is to actually break whatever patterns that you might have within your your brain, because every time you force your brain to do things that it's not normal, it stretches. And when it stretches, that stretch stays. It's similar to a rubber band. You know what I mean? So the whole constri constriction and expansion of your brain, you are actually accommodating yourself to do better, be better, feel better as well. Because when you get into like a, a routine, it's, it's mundane, it's boring, it's annoying. All right. So if you're going to be going into work, right, there's certain things that you got to do. Get rid of email, silence your phone. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, whenever somebody is calling, they just want to impose their own agenda at you. Nothing you are ever called for is meant to benefit you. I mean, maybe, I don't know, but you are never called by somebody for anything that benefits you. Everything that somebody picks up the phone for is to benefit themselves. Now, can you imagine if you're going to stop what you're doing and give people benefit of the doubt that, you know, you, 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 you're going you're gonna to attend to their five minutes of maybe mourning or neglect of whatever they're supposed to be doing because they're trying to distract themselves from for the work they're supposed to be doing. Whenever somebody rings you, just answer them with three things. Just say, sorry, let's negotiate for another time. I'll call you back. And, and, and with time, people will get used to the fact that you never even pick up your phone. Seriously, even if it's a telemarketer, people would be like, listening to the to the telemarketer you know this conversation is not going anywhere but you want to just buy time for yourself so that you don't do the work that's in front of you you know so similar to 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 emails every i mean phone calls emails are usually somebody's agenda anyway if you really want to email somebody or if you really want to talk to somebody go to them if you're working within the same business do you know what I mean? If you're worried you're going to miss an important call, you can set your smartphone. I mean, it's 2017, guys, on do not disturb. Nothing is ever important enough for you not to finish your work. This is important, guys. Like, like seriously important. And also, this is not a popularity contest. If you think this video is going to help somebody, an entrepreneur, to actually earn more money with less struggle, please share this video and type that you shared this video. You know what? I'm good. I'm ready. I, I, I don't need you know, to, to, to continuously do these things because every single day I'm giving people all these hacks because it's, it's painful to be up here alone. I want to make sure that the people that are within my space are people that are going somewhere, doing something and, and being, you know, what they really, really want to. One thing for sure, guys, you are never going to miss out on anything. There's always a good deal every Friday. You're never going to miss out on anything. There's always a good deal on Tuesday. You're never going to miss out on anything. That webinar is not on a limited time only because it's recorded. You're never going to miss out on anything because that PDF can be Googled and you can find it another time. Focus on what it is that you really need to put out. And when you have put it out, then you've got that five minutes to check what Timmy is doing, what Stephen is doing or what Jamie is doing.
Because nobody is going to be out there, you know, looking and, 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 and wanting you to succeed. Nobody except yourself. So you got to really respect your time. You got to respect your process. And then you got to worship your own results. Because if you don't, nobody will. And like I've given you this tip of the Pomodoro um, concept. It's not my concept. It's something that you can look up. Pomodoro, right? You work extensively for 25 minutes and then you get five minute break intervals. 25 minutes of solid, no bullshit, no kid, no hostages coming your way. And five minutes of frivolous, frivolous activity. Okay. I really want to see people doing stuff because, you know, you, you can tell when somebody's not accomplishing anything, their energy, their words, the things they do, the things they post. You know, you can tell when somebody is not moved by their work. You know why? Because they feel overwhelmed. But if you segment your day into, you know, bite size, um, you know, um, intervals, your day will become you will start seeing results and it starts adding up. It piles up. But if you're just overwhelming yourself with all that big to-do list and you're not even, you know, taking off anything from your to-do list, your brain does not recognize that what you're doing is important. All right. And you know what it starts doing? It starts looking for other things to distract you. And once you're distracted, that's a whole day gone. And it's a day you never get back. And you start complaining. Oh, I don't have time. Oh, things are so hard. You know, I mean, I mean, it's, it's, it's one really big challenge of being an entrepreneur is it's always to be switched on. But if you're doing work and giving yourself these breaks and rewards in between, you will notice that you're always going to be constantly vigilant and you're going to be on the lookout for new opportunities because you are actually finishing the stuff that you're supposed to be doing. And your brain is going to be like, what, what, what else is next? What else is next? But if you're going to be like, I don't want to touch that. All right, so every task that you look at, break it down into smaller particles and say for the next 25 minutes, I'm just going to write out this blog. For the next 25 minutes, I'm just going to focus on my website. For the next 25 minutes, I'm going to focus on my clients. For the next 25 minutes, I'm going to focus on content. Can you imagine how many little 30 minute intervals that you, you're going to have in between? All right, so, you know, e even in the introduction of this um show i i mentioned how there's this sort of certain things that you know if you just make a small switch you will start winning in this entrepreneurial journey some people think there's tricks there's hacks you need to have a clickety funnels here and there to trick people or whatever if your star player is not in tune with the work that you're doing if you're not in, in invested in your output you're not invested in the results or the process of how you're getting those results it ain't gonna work i'm so excited today is a friday you know and, I, and i've already done like i've said in half a day things that people would take to do in the whole year you know why because my day is fragmented it's easy to know that between 1 and 2, this is what I'm doing. Between 2 o'clock and 2.30, nobody calls me unless they're just wanting to be, um, uh, 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 you know, rude because they know I'm, I'm live. But I've trained my clients. I've trained my family. Everybody knows that they would have to schedule a call with me so that we can converse and then we have time for each other. We have all got this 24 hours in a day. But what you do with them is what determines your results. You have, you can break it down into smaller chunks. Sometimes some of the work you don't have to do, as long as you know how to do it, you can always outsource. And then you now become this whole omnipresent person that's capable of achieving a whole lot than you are right now. Guaranteed. I know, I know a few things about you and the reason why I show up every single day because motivation like bathing or showering, you need it every single day. Right now you don't have leads. Right now you don't have a guaranteed income. Right now as we speak, you don't have a system within your business. How do you get the customers? How do you get the, 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 the what do you do when you get the clients? And what's the first thing you do? when? What do you send your clients when you get them? You don't have a system to follow. You don't have a process to follow. 
You're, you don't have enough freedom. You're tied up to your computer so that you finish all the tasks because you're not systemizing your work. You're not using the Pomodoro concept. 25 minutes is all you need to finish prospecting, to finish your, your weekly review of to see how far you've gone. 25 minutes is all you need. But, you know, a small job can be, can take you hours and hours. You know why? Because every two seconds you're looking at your phone, you're looking at your computer, you're talking to somebody on the, on the phone, you're, you, you, you're blogging, you're listening to music. An hour can go by without you even realizing how much bullshit you have told yourself that you're working when you're not even putting in the work. You know? Nowadays, as an entrepreneur, you know, if you are working in the corporate world, you just go in for your eight hours. You don't have to care about washing the dishes. You don't have to care about cleaning your desk. You always just come back and somebody has done it for you. Now, if you're an entrepreneur, all these things have to be done by you. You have to put out the, the garbage. You have to clean the windows. You have to sweep the floor. I'm not talking about your daily processes in work because at the end of the day, that is this mundane stuff. You know? You, 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 you then, and you know, go on and, 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 and subscribe to the whole, yes, we're hustling, we're hustling, but what are you putting out? What are you hustling? What is it? Show me. You know, you could hustle for five hours and I could do that thing in 25 minutes. Guard your influences, guard your, your distractions, whatever is not feeding your family today, gotta go. It's got to go. You are not a thief. So why are you stealing time from yourself? You are not a thief. Why are you stealing money from your pocket? You are not a thief. Why are you stealing the results from yourself? You are not a thief. Or maybe you are because you're not doing anything. All right? So at the end of the day, I really, really, really hope that, you know, this is the end of the week. And, and you, you're probably looking at your results and saying, my God, have I done anything? Have I moved the needle? Because you, you, you start looking at people, you know, already just popping out food or popping out, you know, results every single time like it's a factory. It's because they're focused. It's because they've got their shit in order. If you're just picking up like a chicken and hoping that things are going to work, spraying and praying and hoping that whatever sticks is what's going to work, it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. All right? So sometimes you you probably have to be commuting to work or whichever way. You make sure you're filling up your days with productivity. You know, all that time that you're wasting, um, you know, looking at other people's posts, looking at other people's pages, trying to copy them without even looking at yourself because you're just trying to hide or run away from, from reality. It ain't going to work. Look at the time right now. It's almost 2018. It's almost 2018. Like, like it's not even funny. You know? What, have, you, have you gotten any closer to your 2017 results or goals or missions or aspirations? It's because you're not really factoring in that work has to be done. And when the work comes in, you're looking for a distraction. All right? So you want to make sure that you're, you're reducing and minimizing all those things that could take you away from your main course. Focus. Follow one course until successful. So focus every 25 minutes, you do one thing, even if it's writing, transcribing, whatever, whatever brings money to your pocket. And then five minute break, 25 minutes of hard, intense working, and then five minute break. You will notice that your body now starts getting used to it. Act now. Have a mantra. I will act now. I will act now. I will act now. And before you know it, it becomes your part of you. You start just producing. You become a factory. Right? So this is, this is how I would do it. I would look at what do I need to do to get leads? What do I need to do to get content? What do I need to do to convert those people? What do I need to do to connect with those people? 
and then 25 minutes of this in a day you know really looking at the people that need to be worked on 25 minutes um, a day for content 25 minutes uh, to convert those people 25 minutes undisturbed to connect those people do you think you won't have a business that's profitable and enjoyable because right now when you look at this you get overwhelmed but if you really look at it i need 25 minutes just to connect with the people and then 25 minutes to just engage with them 25 minutes to solve their problems and not sell to them and then 25 minutes to just prove my authority and if you want this by the way just type in blueprint i'll shoot you through a copy of this um online prosperity blueprint it's a four-step system that's designed to help you market scale and grow your business so that it's profitable and enjoyable all right so at the end of the day i i asked you at the beginning of this show what is it that you did most of you just put out the one thing throughout the whole week. All right? If I tell you the things that I did this whole week, I've had two um, you know, podcasts that have been short. Just, just today alone, I've done TV, I've done my SEO, I've done 23 calls, I've reached out to people, I've you know, booked 15 calls for tomorrow, I've put out a blog post, I've called my business partner, I've booked... Oh, that's 14. And now I'm recording this for 30 minutes. And this is going to be, uh, you know, you know, played over and over and over and over again so that I don't get to repeat myself. So now you tell me, what are you going to do with the next 30 minutes of your life right now? Are you just going to be sitting there and going, ah, oh, wow, that was powerful. And then go back to the same old shit again. Right, so let's do this. I want people to start committing to doing this technique. If you want me to hold you accountable, just write time at the bottom there and I'll send you through a few things that we can do together so that we make sure we are operating at optimum. So type in time and then I'll, I will get in touch with you so that we actually start moving the needle. Unless you are ain't shit and you're just watching this because you don't have anything to do, then okay, that's fine. But if you're really serious about, you know, you know, wanting to earn more money and with less struggle and you actually want to get recognition about your work that you're doing right now, type in time so that I get in touch with you and then we can actually start structuring your day so that you can actually be, do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. All right. So it's Friday on my end. This is the last show for the week. And I really hope you've enjoyed um, the whole week. And if anything that you really want us to talk about, anything that you want us to chat about or anything you would want to see in the future, let a brother know. I'm more than happy to open up this whole uh, show to a lot of people. You know why? Because Facebook has just taken over Facebook Watch. So this show is actually going to be a prominent thing that's actually coming in. All the episodes that I did are all going to be found in one small space. I haven't been wasting my time, guys. You see, it's, it's all so exciting for me because now I am like right in the front row to actually getting, um, you know, um, commissioned to, to have my own channel on Facebook Watch. So thank you so much for your support. If you really, really enjoy this, please share this. Please share this. All right, I hope you're going to have a fantastic weekend and you're going to be looking at the star player that is going to take you from where you are to where you really want to be. All right, I really wish you all the success that's available. Enjoy this weekend and if you're going to be resting, rest well, but on Monday, try and instigate this whole Pomodoro um, you know, technique. 25 minutes is all you need to be very, very productive and give yourself five minutes of rest. This has been Prosper, guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you on the other side.